This took place around 15 years ago. I would have been about 13 years old. My dad has always taken an annual fishing trip with friends that would put him out of state for about a week. I have numerous stories about weird things happening while he was gone on said fishing trips. From paranormal events to someone attempting to break into our house. But this one is the most unnerving to people when I tell it. When my dad would go on these trips, I would usually sleep in my parents' bed. My mom and I treated it like a little sleepover and would watch movies, stay up late, even on school nights, and gossip. I remember falling asleep after a late night movie and being roused from sleep what felt like just minutes later. My mom is a light sleeper, while on the other hand, it takes a catastrophic level event to wake me up from a dead sleep. I remember waking up feeling as if something was wrong. The room was illuminated oddly, and there was a distant rhythm I was only partially aware of. I'm half asleep, and as I open my eyes, I can see my mom on top of the bed, on her knees, peering out of the window above her bed. I started to ask, what's going on, when she turned to me quickly and shhed me. I quietly joined her looking out the small box window that was slightly cracked open and the distant rhythmic chanting became more and more clear. Our house sat in front of a strip of woods. The trees aren't too thick, and you can see through most of the wooded area. The chanting was getting louder by the second, and the odd illuminations finally made sense. You could see a line of hooded figures in dark clothes holding torches marching east chanting what sounded like demonic dark things it felt surreal and scary as we held our breath waiting to see what they would do were they headed toward the houses to burn them down were they going to attempt to break in and sacrifice us? It felt like ages that we were watching this line of people walk through the woods. Their torches raised high and their chanting continuing through the night. But that was it. They just walked away. After what was probably more like two minutes, my mom and I laid back down and discussed what we saw, trying to get back to sleep. We told my dad first thing in the morning when he called to check in, but I remember him not believing us. He thought it had been, had been a dream or something, but that kind of thing didn't happen in our small town in Ohio. But the next day, there was an article in the local newspaper about a lamb being slain on a makeshift altar on the east side of town. My dad stopped doubting us, and my mom and I got even more freaked out. My parents still live in that house, and we have never seen any other cult-like behavior in the area. But that one evening freaked us out enough that I decided to permanently camp out in my parents' bedroom every time my dad left town until my late high school years.